So there's a few reasons why you should long Bitcoin right now. And we're gonna jump into that right here, right now as well. So if we are just looking at Bitcoin, let's just start off with hash rate, okay? So hash rate today and yesterday did just put out a bullish buy signal. This is something that is massive for Bitcoin and it's something that you should not ignore because every time this happens, Bitcoin goes on a massive run assuming we're in a bull market anyway, right? If we're not in a bull market, then Bitcoin does not go on a massive run. Uh, it just goes sideways and, and, and yeah, it's the bear market stuff, right? But if we're in a bull market, which we currently are, uh, it is definitely the time to really focus on Bitcoin and, and focus on that entry point for your investment, right? We're gonna talk about this here throughout this video, but I do just wanna talk about a little bit more why this is so bullish right now, okay? I know the price is dumping, guys. I know you don't have to say, but uh, yeah, it's it's something that the on-chain, right, the macro, uh, the stuff in the background that's influencing supply and demand uh, is massive right now in terms of bullishness. So uh, we can see here right now, analyze electricity consumption. Uh, that is on a very steep slope. Okay, we're gonna be watching this over the next week. So make sure you subscribe because if this does get above this high point here, uh, I think all bets are off and we just bang it. Okay, I really, really do. Uh, besides that, we do have some updates from the ETF inflow side of things. This takes every kind of ETF out there, right, in the US that, uh, that has inflows and outflows recorded. And we can see that, yeah, they are all accumulated here. Okay, so here we can see most recently on 22nd, so two or three days ago here, uh, we can see 485 million in Bitcoin. Okay, on the on the out on the inflow. Sorry, <laughs> uh, we can also see here uh, because of this dump here uh, and yesterday's dump, we have come down a little bit on the fear and greed index. Uh, this isn't really a problem. Okay, we have been oscillating around the 70s and 60s for some time here uh, over the past week, and that is typically a bullish sign in terms of a Bitcoin going up, okay? Uh, if if it was to go into the 80s or the super high 70s, that's when you wanna really be worrying about major pullbacks. But uh, as of right now, it's not too bad, okay? It's not super euphoria uh, and up into these, these areas in which we can get absolutely obliterated, right? So just be careful of this one. But uh, what we will say is overall pretty bullish. This is actually pretty standard for an uptrend, these kind of numbers for fear and greed, okay? If we are looking at the general market here over the past 24 hours, we are seeing a lot of red, as you'd expect, obviously, every Everything has dumped, okay? Uh, and uh, with this, yeah, you can see that uh, it's just, it's not looking good for some coins. Brett down 8%, okay? Uh, we're seeing Phantom 10% here. Uh, yes, we did have a massive, massive dump today. So um, yeah, you could probably expect that across the board here. A couple, a couple ones that are going up here. X, oh no, is XRP? No, no, XRP is not going up. Tron actually went up here, which is surprising. It's been on a bit of a downtrend recently. Um, it seems to be decoupled from the rest of the markets here. Who else have we got? We got USDD, a stable coin up. <laughs> uh, besides that, yeah, pretty much a sea of red coming through. Uh, any news coming through here for um, for this? Let's just take a look. We're seeing Bitcoin plunges to 64K as US tech route hits crypto. I'm not sure what that means, but we'll read about it. Uh, leads to a $250 million long bets being liquidated. Okay, this is pretty standard. Okay, if we bring up the liquidation heat map, you can expect that to happen. Okay, uh, if you add up all the numbers here, right, you can probably get to 200. Uh, million quite easily. Let's just take a look here. Yeah, so uh, yeah, this is going to add up to 200 million pretty easily. So this, this is something I wanted to talk to you guys about because when you see headlines like that, 300 million liquidated, 100 million liquidated, it's not really a lot. It sounds like a lot because that's what the media wants you to think, right? But it's not really a lot on the grand scheme of things, right? Uh, for example, here, $155 million liquidated. Okay, as we went up here, right, this was another 150 million liquidated in this small pump, okay, in the middle of a downtrend. So it's these these numbers that these uh, this media does put out, it's not really something you should really care about. What you really want to care about is this chart and the edge that comes with this chart, right? And the edge that we highlight here on this channel is something a little bit like this. When you see these faded lines on the three day here, if I can just get that in line. There we go, just under the Prime XPT logo. <laughs> the three day here on the liquidation heat map. Uh, when you do see these kind of thinner, smaller, kind of more transparent lines appear, this is actually something you should be targeting, particularly uh, if we are in the middle of a range between two massive uh, thicker lines there, right? Uh, and you can see this pretty much across the board uh, every time that these appear, we do love to actually just go and liquidate those because those are smaller liquidation orders that won't affect the market so much. So the market makers move price down there or up there to grab those contracts and liquidate them, take over the contracts, and then they bring price back 
and then what do you know they've um they've made all of the money that you've lost <laughs> right to put it simply unfortunately i shouldn't really laugh about it but that's just the way things are here uh, in the crypto markets as of right now we're in a super super tight range uh, this could go either way right now uh, i would just say that it's quite likely we go up and i'll explain why when we get to the trading view chart but uh, let's go back to this new story here coming through so 64 um <clears throat> sorry 250 million liquidated here coming through as bitcoin nose dives a grand this this whole article is a little bit exaggerated but the main points here are that bitcoin experienced a sharp decline over three percent it's not really a lot for bitcoin uh, at the start of asian trading hours amid a broader stock market dern, uh, t downturn well if asian trading hours are open then u.s stock market hours are probably closed so i'm not sure what's going on there <laughs> i'm not here to debunk coindesk or anything but this is uh this is not great as, as an article um it seems like they are trying to scare you uh with this and i mean you could argue that that's manipulation because we are seeing that on chain look ridiculously bullish okay and we are seeing those hash ribbon across towards the upside and what this means is miners are turning their machines back on miners are putting more power into mining bitcoin because they believe that bitcoin's going to go up so they can sell bitcoin at higher prices this is directly correlated with bitcoin's price so when we are looking at this okay um take this with a grain of salt all right take this with a grain of salt because it's it's not it's not great <laughs> it's not great here i do just want to highlight that when i was looking at the news today it just wasn't that that like you got to be able to see through that kind of stuff right as a trader uh, what we will say with ethereum because this etf was released this week right um yeah the outflows have been ridiculous as you can see here just disgusting disgusting here in terms of outflows for ethereum so um is this the outflows i think so no, that's the price. That's the price here. My bad. My bad. <laughs> uh, Ethereum is down 7.5% and is trading above uh, 3.1k. Interesting. Uh, Ethereum's decline comes from the ETH outflows uh, continue and tech giant NVIDIA trades in the red. Sorry, I'm super tired today, guys. I don't know if you noticed. We'll get to the charts now because, uh, yeah, the main point is, yes, the Ethereum ETF did not go as planned uh, for a lot of people. Uh, we did not invest based on that ETF. Uh, it, it was just too much random things that could happen with that thing. And uh, I've, I'm not really a big fan of Ethereum generally. So, uh, yeah, we, we avoided that one. We stuck to trading Bitcoin. We've made three fantastic trades on the way down here. So good stuff coming through. Let me just get you over to that screen. Uh, before we do continue, guys, be sure to like the video if you are getting the value value here uh, let me know what you think of that new style as well or you do prefer the today in the news just let me know uh, but yeah i want to shout out prime xbt here for um for sponsoring this channel okay really really cool and uh, they actually do free trading contests that you can enter for free they'll give you simulated balance and if you win you get 500 bucks if you come second you get 350 bucks and then if you come third you get 150 bucks and it's very very easy to get top three on that exchange so be sure to head over there in the description right now okay weekly trading contest as well so you could win that every week and get your trading journey really started okay uh, what we are looking here uh, with bitcoin if we do just stick to the point here we can see that uh, yeah we did have this massive dump this morning we did get in a short uh, I'll admit slightly late on this short, okay? I think we got in somewhere around here, okay? Uh, and then we rode that bad boy down, all right? We closed this pretty much at the bottom, uh, 63.8, somewhere around here, okay? And now we are looking for a long, okay? And the reason why we're looking for a long is because we've just got back above this 15-minute volume weighted ATR band. Typically, when we get above it, we like a bump and run and then uh, retest whatever price action channel. Yeah, it's the price action channel here at 65K. So probably retest about 64.8 if we were to kind of predict where that's gonna be by the time we get there, uh, okay? And um, yeah, that could not happen, all right? Just just being non-biased here, that could not happen. We could continue this dump down. Uh, and yeah, we haven't actually hit this 60 minute yet. So potentially they wanna hit this first, or it could be the gap, the gap and dump. You've heard of the bump and run, right? But this is the gap and dump that we do see a lot, right? The gap and dump you can see here is where we do get an important level like this. It creates a gap and it pumps just before it, okay? And then it dumps through it. And we see this quite a lot in the Bitcoin markets, just generally from my eight years experience. So if this is gonna be another gap and a dump, right um, between this level just be aware of that but we do have a short targeted for that uh, scenario okay uh, what we are seeing here what we are seeing if i do just get rid of these liquidation levels for now we'll get back to them in a minute um, but we can see let me know if this music's too loud or annoying 
as, as well. I'm just trying to change up the content a little bit, um, trying to attract more people to the channel. I don't know if it's going to work. Who knows? <laughs> I'm kind of a, um, I really want this channel to be successful, but I'm not sure yet uh, how to do that because not a lot of people like crypto. So maybe I up the production, maybe I upload less and put more effort into um, higher quality videos. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. But carrying on here, this is the short we're targeting. Okay, this is the short we're targeting. We've been talking about this for a few a few weeks now. Okay, and the reason why we're targeting this short is because of the CME gap over at 60K. Okay, the CME gap at 60K uh, is super, super important. If we can hit that and fill that, that will be a prime target for an entry of a long, um, particularly with the on-chain here looking so bullish. Okay, we do have this buy signal in now. Uh, I want to see this kind of confirm over two days here uh, to really get this long signal. But uh, the main point here being, yes, we are looking for a short from about 63K down. Okay, you could actually uh, lower this and, and really just get rid of this gap of support here, right? So uh, yeah, 63K down is actually okay. It's okay here. So if we do dump here, okay, then we retest that 60 minute, we stay below that 60 minute volume weighted ATR band, then we'll be looking for that dump down uh, in which we would target 60K for a beautiful short, okay? Just a beautiful, look at this thing. It's it's beautiful. Uh, and if we can get that fantastic stuff, we've already made two fantastic shorts on the way down here. Actually, I think we made three and those were given on the, the free Patreon as well. If you guys uh, do follow me on Patreon, it's completely free to join, okay? Absolutely free, right? No charge, no charge. And I'll give you one free Bitcoin signal every day. Essentially, when I wake up, guys, uh, I just uh, I throw that in there and let you guys know what I'm looking for during that day. And I, I did wake up and we were mid dump, so granted yeah i mean there was <laughs> the signal for this was yesterday but uh today we're really just looking for any continuational dump or as we're about to talk about now uh, we're looking for this uh 15 minute oh no we already talked about this yeah we're looking for this this pump up here okay so if we do kind of uh, start breaking up here and we maintain a few 15 minute candles above this 7 sma on the hourly then uh, i will be looking for a long all the way up here to about 65k very very easy trade there uh, that we do execute a lot okay we do execute this a lot i just got a message on trading view don't know if you guys heard that <laughs> but uh yeah i just want to show you an example of this coming to fruition yeah so we got the 15 minute here okay when we lose it we come down we dump okay and then we get above this this one hour seven sma boom okay ridiculous pump okay another example here okay we get above the seven sma uh, and we get above that 15 minute and then boom, massive pump up to the price action channel. Okay, even this time, right, boom. <laughs> so yes, this is a, a very prominent edge. This is one that you should not ignore. And this is one that uh, can be extremely profitable, extremely profitable coming through here. So that's what we're looking for. Uh, we also have this trend line coming through here around 62.7. So I know I said an entry at 63K. Um, it might be better to just wait a little bit longer there. Um, but you could probably still get a couple percent here on a wicking scenario underneath this. I think if we hit this and we do want to bounce off of it, it's very likely we trap underneath it anyway. So you could grab a couple of percent from 63K anyway here, right? So um, yeah, just keep that in your heads. And um, besides that, long-term guys, long-term what we're looking for here is Bitcoin to absolutely bang it towards the upside. I'm talking, I'm talking ridiculous gains. I'm talking Lamborghinis. I'm talking yachts. I'm talking Rolexes. If you, if you buy, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a digital watch guy. But <laughs> if, you, if you like Rolex, Rolexes, go ahead, man, go ahead, because that's what we're aiming for this market. Okay, we're talking about 73k all the way up to 81k. Bang. Okay, and that's just the first wave. Well, the second wave, really. But <laughs> the first wave uh, in this uh, series of waves we're expecting this bull market that could lead us all the way up to roughly around 240K, up all the way to 350. We talked about this in, in a previous video uh, based on the linear regressional growth curves. Um, we could end somewhere around there anyway in this run. So we'll see how that goes. But as of right now, in the more immediate long term, uh, we'll be looking for the all-time high break at 73K, 74K, and just bang it up for 10%, free money. Okay, if we do get a swan event here, which can happen, okay, we'll be looking for a trade from 53K down to 48K. Those are the two big trades on the macro, okay? Uh, if you are enjoying this video, if you've got the value from it, please, please, please give it a like. And if you made it this far into this video, uh, just remember, okay, just remember, um, I should probably say something after I say that. Just remember that you can get, <laughs> you can get the volume weighted ATR band for free right here, right now. All you got to do is comment your favorite cryptocurrency coin, okay, with a hashtag. Okay, your hashtag cryptocurrency coin. You don't need a hashtag, okay? I'll retract that statement. I don't know what that does. 
<laughs> but uh, yeah, comment your favorite cryptocurrency coin for this run along with your trading view name so I can add you to this indicator and I'll give you two weeks for free, okay? Be sure to do it. It's free. It's free. And it's, it's what I use to trade every single day, okay? You can see this. We've talked about this all video. It's, it's the best indicator out there, okay? I know I made it. I'm biased, but it is the best indicator out there. I'll see you guys the next one. Let me know what you think of this style of video um, and have a fantastic day. Trade safe out there. See you very, very soon. Cheers.